Hey y'all, it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, a bunch of things happened starting at the end of last summer into fall. Um, and I just never really got back in the habit of making videos after that. Um, the biggest thing was that my father got sick um, again. He'd been in and out of the hospital the previous summer. Um, but it was never really, they never really knew what was going on. Um, at some point there had been talk of a relapse of his cancer, but again, that was never followed up. So we figured, you know, there wasn't any problem with it and he was just having back pain or, you know, trouble walking or whatever because of his age, he was 84. He was much older than my mom. Um, so when he started getting sick again last summer and then declining, um, just physically declining, there was nothing we could do. I couldn't help him. I'm in a wheelchair, um, or walking with crutches or whatever. I can't, I can't do it. My mom can't do it either. She's, you know, older herself and has health issues. Um, it just became too much and we had to... I had to call the ambulance a number of times, either because he had to fall in or, you know, because of pain management or whatever. Um, and finally, it, it just became that he couldn't, um, he just couldn't take care of himself, couldn't feed himself, he couldn't get up fast enough to get to the washroom. I mean, it was a whole, it was a big deal. Um, and then that's when we found out that he did indeed have cancer. Again, he'd had prostate cancer in 1993. He had surgery, and he was on maintenance uh, chemo shots. Like, well, I don't know. I honestly don't remember how many times a year it was, but it wasn't like a weekly thing or a monthly thing even. It was like every couple of months or every four or five months at one point. And then he was on maintenance chemo pills, but that wasn't helping so um, they started, they, they did more scans, and they found out that the, um, the cancer was in his spine. And it hadn't touched his spinal cord, it was just on the bones. So he wasn't paralyzed or anything like that. Um, he, um, but he was in severe pain. I mean severe, severe pain, because the tumors were taking up room between the bones and pressing on bones and, and cracking the bones basically and fracturing them because he's also, you know, he's 84 years old and he's a long time smoker. He's got emphysema. He's got, um, congestive heart failure. That's why he was in this, the hospital the summer previous to that. And so, um, they found out it was in the spine and then they found out it was in his liver. There was a spot in his liver, and so they were doing radi radiation to try and decrease the pain. Um, but it wasn't working. It was making the pain worse. So between um, the pain from the cancer and the pain from the radiation, um, they stopped the radiation. I had a talk with him, and I pretty much already knew what he wanted and he was already on a, a DNR which is a do not resuscitate which means that if he went into respiratory failure or cardiac arrest um, no heroic measures or life-saving measures would take place they would let him pass away um, he would be kept comfortable and that was it so he basically decided for himself that he didn't want to live like this anymore, that it was too hard, it was too painful. And he stopped eating, stopped drinking. They had him on an IV drip, but I mean, it was, you know, you need a lot to stay alive, and food is a big part of it. Um, and then his pain was just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And so I called him palliative team for pain control, pain management. And it, they did some, it wasn't enough in the end, they had to do more, and it got to the point where 
if they did more, um, it could affect his, his breathing, which I knew. I'm a nurse. I've had patients pass away. I've had, you know, I've, I've seen family members of patients who were going through what I was going through. Um, it didn't make it easier, I don't think. Um, in some ways it made it harder because I knew the, the realities before maybe the rest of the family did. Um, so it got really bad one Sunday. They called me at home and they said, if you're coming to visit, you better come now. So I had to organize a, a ride to the hospital. A neighbor of ours drove me. Um, I was still using crutches to get around, but it was really hard. My back was really, really, really bad. Uh, the back pain was really bad. The hip pain was really bad. All that came back, even though I'd been in physio before for it. Um, it came back, and it came back with a vengeance. So I was having a lot of mobility problems myself. wasn't always able to, um, you know, to do anything to help him. Hence why he was in the hospital. So I, I called... Uh, one of my aunts, and I got her to call the rest of his family, um, the direct siblings that are um, alive. There were eight in his family, four boys, four girls. Two of the boys, men, had already passed away. My dad and uh, his brother were the only ones left on the boy's side. And the four sisters are still there, but one of them has pretty severe dementia, so she's not, you know, she wasn't really part of the picture. We, we let her know what was happening, but you know, it doesn't stick. Um, her short-term memory is completely gone. Maybe it's a blessing. Um, so they all came to visit, and um, so that was good. Um, that was the last day that he was ever really, um, I'm not going to say coherent, but he woke up enough to say hi to us, sort of, you know, very drug-induced, hazy state. I'm not sure how much he was aware, but I know that he, he knew we were there. It stayed a long time. It stayed all day. I stayed all day, and um, I left, thinking that I would get a call that he would, that he had passed, or that he was finally passing. Um, he didn't. Not that night. A couple days later. Um, I, uh, I got to see him, of course, before, and a couple days later, I had to run a whole bunch of errands. The stuff I'd been putting off because of this, and I decided to go. And I was too tired um, to go see him that, that afternoon, so I said, I'll, I'll go tomorrow. And I got a call that night at around 7.30 saying that he had passed. I felt guilty because I wasn't there. <sighs> but his good friend, best friend, who is strangely enough my age, he they weren't neighbors of ours, um, him and his wife and uh, they've got three kids, he had been to see my dad um, just at that time. And my dad was sort of able to open his eyes, but again, we don't know how much he could see or really comprehend, but he died about 15 minutes after his friend left. So, sorry. So he was with somebody. And they, uh, he wasn't really alone. So that's, 
That was in October of last year. So yeah, it's getting uh, getting close to when he passed away. October 3rd it was right before my birthday. I'm on the 14th, so that was hard. First birthday, and then we went through the first Christmas, and I you know, first Valentine's Day, and first Father's Day, and yeah, you know, we didn't always get along, especially the last three or four years. We fought like cats and dogs sometimes, um, but I always loved him. I know he loved me, so that's what mattered in the end. So, yeah. So, yeah, that was basically why I haven't really made a video. I got very, uh preoccupied with getting my fluids on, on the hospital. Um, thankfully it was the same hospital where he was staying so I was able to see him when I went on my fluid days plus on days when I went to see him but it was like an added bonus that I was already there once a week. Um, so yeah and it's been it was weird going back to the hospital for fluids a few weeks after my dad passed away it was Weird because I'd spent like a month and a half or whatever going to see him before and after, and all of a sudden I was just going there for that. That was odd. That was weird. Um, so yeah, that's where we've been. That's where, uh, that's where I've been. But I will do other videos. Um, I think this one will be a standalone. I was going to add stuff to this, but I think I'll just leave this one as, as what it is. And uh, film the others after. And add it on as I just add it to, to the channel. So, for those of you who watch me, I'm back. Um, I hope you didn't give up. <laughs> I know there's not that many people that watch, but I have friends, so anyway. I will see y'all soon. Thanks for listening. Night.